Thomas. Uh, my name is Andy Parker. I'm the burial herder here at Avery. And this is your Monday morning hangover. Um, I'm fighting both my hangover and scurvy with this. I recommend it. Maybe the best morning beer on the planet. Uh, today we're here to talk about oak barrels versus oak fooders. And an oak fooder is essentially a, a large tank, just like you would do a steel tank in any normal brewery. There are a lot of wineries and breweries all over the world that use big oak fooders. And wouldn't it be easier to just use giant tanks instead of these small barrels? And the answer is sometimes. Uh, for us, a lot of the times, we are getting in fresh bourbon barrels, rum barrels, tequila barrels, wine barrels, port, Madeira, and we're designing beers that we want to infuse those, those flavors in. So for that, we need these fresh bourbon barrels. These are big bourbon barrel and barrel stouts, we can Uncle Jacob's. They, they can't be done in a fooder, so that's, that's part of it. Um, we also do a lot of sour beers in, for example, Madeira and Port barrels and Cabernet Sauvignon, and for that, we need those fresh barrels. There are other beers where we're using neutral barrels, barrels that we've used enough times where we're not trying to get oak flavor out of it. We're just using that oak barrel as kind of a house for our, uh, for our yeast and bacteria to do their jobs on the sour beers. In that case, yes, there are some advantages to using, to using large fooders. Now, that will slow down the process, and it can take a year, two years, instead of the four to nine months where we usually do our sour beers, just because the oxygen infusion is slower. Um, but they can be a lot of fun. So at some point in the future, we'd like to get fooders. For now, we've been working with barrels for over a decade, and our program grew organically just by adding and adding and experimenting and having a lot of fun with it. And for now, we love the beers that we're making out of these small barrels, and it's working out really well for us. Will we experiment in the future? Sure, who doesn't love experimentation? Uh, for now, we're gonna put beer in these little guys and taste a lot of them and make sure only the best go out, and then you'll get to drink them, and then I'll drink them with you. So have fun out there, be safe, have a breakfast beer.